Okay, so it's Tom here again. Um, I'm going to spit out some of these videos while I can because it's very hard for me to get the time to do this because I have a family. I have a young child and it's just hard to get away sometimes. Um, so they're busy right now. Now, okay, what's a good strategy if you're new at this? Um, I'd say one of your best strategies is learn your basics, which isn't hard. Okay, learn your basics. Learn. You should really blog. Okay, first of all, learn how to blog. You can start that for free on WordPress.com. You can start a free blog or blogger, something like that, Tumblr. There's lots of free blogging services out there. You don't want to rely on a free blogging service in the long term. Um, for now, use them as an online diary. If you have knowledge you can uh, transfer to people via that medium, do it. Um, but honestly, you should get a real blog. Um, you should get a domain name and hook that up. Um, you can go to my, <clears throat> one of my blogs is ipblogging.com. It's I as an ice cream, P as in Peter, blogging, one word, dot com. Um, that's my infinite possibilities blog, I call it. Now that's a Kalatu blog. It's a, basically an Empower Network hosted blog. I pay monthly for that. And why do I do that? Now I have self-hosted WordPress blogs on my own hosting service. Um, I really like the Kalatu platform. Now, now if you sign up under me, you go to my blog and you buy Kalatu through me, I will get a commission for it. Okay. Full disclosure. That's not the only reason I'm mentioning it. I mean, for all you negatron cynics out there, that is not why I, I mean, I mentioned it because of course, yeah, I'd like the commission. Great. You know, sue me for wanting some money. But that's not my overall thing here. What I'm trying to let you know is that, okay, the free services have restrictive terms of service. And whenever you're selling stuff online or you're, uh, whatever, uh, talking about business opportunities or whatever, you are always, you know, a hair away from, um, you know, violating their TOC. Or you could get pulled down at any time. It would suck, okay? It would royally suck for you to put hours of effort into writing all these different blog posts only to have your blog disappear because of a TOC violation. Um, and it's happened before with people. So, you know, you can use those. I mean, I use the free blogs mainly to link back to my other blogs. Um, but you can use them or usually you learn how to do it by using them. Self-hosted blogs. Self-hosted blogs are great, but they're a lot of work. They are a maintenance nightmare. You will try to get hacked by everybody. You need to have all kinds of plugins for security. And, you know, one of my main blogs right now, I'm locked out of it because the security plugin went haywire. And I, I, I just haven't had the time to go in and fix this thing. So I'm basically locked out of one of my main blogs right now. Um, I haven't really been contributing to it for a little while, so it's not like the worst thing in the world. But I do need to go in and do some house cleaning there. And some new articles to keep it fresh, and I need to get to that. So right there, I've got a, a nightmare that I have to deal with because I administer that blog. I am responsible for the upkeep and the security on that blog, and it's it's a hassle. So with Kalatu, you don't have that, okay? The company hosts it. They take care of the security and all of that. You can't really put your own plugins on it because it's it's a hosted thing. But it's geared towards marketers, or people who are in business, okay? Um, doesn't matter whether you're a real estate company or uh, an accountant or uh, online marketer or whatever, network marketer. You can you can use your blog for whatever you want. You can have, I think, up to three to five blogs. I can't remember if it's three or five you can have on this platform. And you can have different domain names hooked up to all of them. So anyway, get over to ipblogging.com and check that out. Now, you can also promote your other offers through it. All right, and you can you can post your blog posts on social media. That's another thing. When you have Facebook or um, or FutureNet or something like that, you can uh, or wherever Reddit. It doesn't matter what the social platform is. You can link your blog articles to that. Okay, which is a great way. Now, 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 hear me out here. You may be in an affiliate or a network marketing deal and. The um, social media site like Facebook, they may not want you to post your affiliate links directly on there. They may be blocked because um, a lot of people do that and they consider it an abuse. 
what's a great way around that? Write a great blog post about your last sales meeting or your last conference or your last hotel party, whatever it is. And um, write, write your blog post about that. And then put the other information in there, links to your sign-up page or whatever. And then post that article on social media. You can do that. Right, you can do that, and it's a great way to, uh, you know, spread the word. To um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, syndicate your your work. Okay, syndicate yourself. So that's that's great too. Okay, so you really should be blogging. You really should um, be using various social media. You can also post that blog on your, say, Instagram account, something like that. Uh, sometimes you may want to just use a capture page. So you really need how to do sale, learn how to do sales funnels. Sales funnels, it's very important to learn how to, uh, what a sales funnel is and how to use one, uh, how to build one. Um, you know, I'm in various, I'm in businesses that, that use sales funnels, you know, very well, very frequently. And uh, it's just it's it's a, it's a great way to get people onto your autoresponder list. I'm building my list. I have, you know, <clears throat> a small list compared to some people I know out there, but compared to most people out there who are in network marketing and these affiliate offers, at least I have a list, and it's actually a pretty big list compared to what a lot of these people have, because I make list building a priority. List building is, you know, we are in the lead generation business. Another uh, big shot who I'm uh, affiliated with online says that a lot, and it's true. We are in the lead generation business. You have to create leads all the time to get people into your business, to get people to see your businesses. Um, and you do that through various traffic methods, which we also preach. We also have integrated in with our sales funnels. So you need to learn how to do all of that. Right, but anybody can learn it. You can be a complete newbie, and you know you'd best associate with someone like me who can show you all this stuff from A to Z at the beginning, rather than you know stumbling around and trying to figure it out by yourself. So, you know, you can go to my blog, look around. Yeah, I I, I have articles on lots of different things on that blog, um, lots of different things, different businesses, different whatever. Um, I even do some blogs for fun. You know, I have, um, I don't have the, there's only so many hours in a day and, you know, I wish I had 36 hours in a day instead of 24 or 48 hours in a day because, um, you know, I have this foodie blog that I really like. It's called looneyfoodie.com. It's L O O N E Y F O O D I E.com. I just don't have the time to really contribute to it. That's just one of my other interests. Um, I have this other one called cryptopark.com, which is about like UFOs and Bigfoot and stuff. It's just an, uh, something that's interested me since I was a kid. Um, but I, I don't have time to contribute to all these things. And, um, you know, the, the marketing has to take a priority because that's, that's the alternate income streams that I'm going for here. Um, and it's for the good of myself and my family, and you should be doing the same thing for the good of yourself and your family. Uh, so uh, go to my blog, check it out. Um, and also, uh, there may be a link around this video or not, depending on where it is. Uh, this video may end up on my blog. I don't know. Uh, I'm just trying to bang these things out right now on various things I'm thinking about so that I get them out there on the Internet before I forget. All right, so anyway, uh, Tom Conley signing out, and uh, talk to you later. Winners, be a winner. Don't be a whiner. Bye.